Hi there, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to DCAC TV Kid Zone. I'm your host, Miss Hoy, and today we're starting with a very special song on the ukulele. All right. Jeremy Fisher has so many other awesome songs that you would love to sing along, dance along to, and he's doing a special Saturday live stream at 11 a.m. on his page, Jeremy Fisher Jr. Make sure you check it out. Now, as I said, we have so many special guests on the show today, and in our first group of visitors, there's seven people. Can you show me how many seven is? Is seven this many? Is seven this many? No. How many is seven? That's right, seven's this many. So we have Sebastian, Tom, Sam, Andrew, Alex, Vanessa, and Nick here to perform a cover of a piece for us today from a movie that I think you know. Let's give it a listen. <laughs> job. Now, did all of you recognize what movie that piece is from? Hmm. That's right, it's from Monsters, Inc. Did you see Mike Wazinski? I did, yeah. <laughs> awesome. So that piece is the theme for Monsters, Inc. It's by Randy Newman, and thanks to all of my friends for being on the show today and performing a cover of it for us. Hi! Here's Presley. Knock, knock. Who's there? Canoe. Canoe who? Can you help me with my homework? <laughs> uh, 
Up next we have Nikki from the Boys and Girls Club of London showing us how to do a super cool craft. Hello boys and girls, it's Nikki from the Boys and Girls Club. So for today, we're gonna to do our squishy stress balls kids love to play with. And in our big boredom busting book of activities, this will be on page 15 if you wanna look for the instructions. Okay, so what you need to do this activity is a balloon. So we have our balloon here. I'm using a blue one. We have a funnel, a permanent marker. It has to be permanent because if you write on your balloon with a different kind of marker and then you play with it, you'll get marker all over your hands. Scissors and either a cup or a spoon, something to scoop your flour with and some regular flour. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to stretch out your balloon so that it's nice and stretchy and ready to be filled with flour. The easiest way to do that is to just blow it up a little bit and then let it out. So, you can use flour, but if you have rice at home, you can use rice too, but rice will poke through the balloon eventually, so just be aware of that. So, what you wanna do is you wanna put your funnel onto the neck of your balloon, which is easier said than done sometimes. If you do not have a funnel at home, but you have a water bottle or a pop bottle, you can cut, or you can have your parents cut, the bottle in half, take the lid off, turn it upside down, put the balloon over top of this, and then use it for a funnel, okay? So we have our funnel, it's our craft funnel, and we have our cup, so we're gonna start filling it with flour. You just wanna do a little bit at a time, because it'll stick in your funnel. want to make sure that there's no air left in your balloon, no extra air pockets, and tie it as close to the balloon as you can. And then you're going to, well, normally you'd use scissors, but you trim it. So there we go. That's what the scissors are for. And now we have a little stress ball. And it feels pretty cool. Now, what we're going to do, and this is optional, if you don't have permanent marker you certainly don't have to do this we're gonna put a funny face on ours so we're gonna do some eyes and a squiggly mouth like this like that just to be fun and the only other thing I'm gonna say we're now done. You're going to want to let this dry a little bit before you start playing with it too much. See there? Okay? Now you have a stress ball. If your stress ball gets a hole in it, if the balloon gets a hole, you don't have to start all over again. You can just take another balloon, stretch it out, and put it over top of this balloon. So if you cut this tip here like this, you can go like this and it's fixed and you can tie the top if you want but you don't have to and that will fix the hole okay so that concludes our demonstration for today uh, we hope you have fun making your stress balls at home and we look forward to seeing you again soon Hi. here's Presley knock, knock. who's there King Tut King Tut who? King Tucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe almost another episode is almost done. But we have one more very special guest for you. Moms, dads, and guardians, you might recognize this guy. His name is Glenn Bennett, and he's here to sing a very special goodbye song. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you. Well, it's nice to see your smiling face. I'm glad that you could come. Well, before you leave this place, let's have some fun. 
Don't sit there like some stranger As if we'd never met But come on, treat me like your long-lost closest friend Just put your arms out in the air And let your hand just go There's so many different ways to wave a love There's the friendly wave And the royal wave And the shy wave when it's someone you don't know There's the two-hand wave And the crazy wave There's so many different ways to wave a love All right, I think we're on to something here If you see me walking down the street, you recognize my face And you remember about the time we spent here in this place Well, don't sit there like some stranger, as if we've never met Well, come on, treat me like your long-lost closest friend Well, just stick your arm out in the air and let your hand just go There's so many different ways to wave alone When it's someone you don't know There's a two-hand wave And the crazy wave There's so many different ways to wave below All right, we're having some fun now, aren't we? <laughs> you ready for level two? You guys like secrets? I love secrets If we ever pass each other on the street Here's what we'll do Stick your thumb in your ear and pretend to be scratching your head. And at the very last minute, as we pass, stick your four fingers in the air and wiggle them wildly. <laughs> That's the secret way. Okay, let's do it. A one, a two, a one, two, three. There's a friendly way and the royal way and the shy way when it's someone you don't know. There's a two and a Wave. There's so many different ways to wave below. Let's take it home now. There's a friendly wave and the royal wave and the shy wave when it's someone you don't know. There's the big wave and the secret wave. There's so many 